From a few wisps of smoke to three alarm fires that could burn a house to the ground, clothes dryers cause more than 5,000 fires each year. And with a price tag of $80 million in property damage, I can't help but wonder, is it better to just pull out the old clothesline? I mean, you never see something on a clothesline just burst into flames, right? Not willing to give up your dryer just yet? Maybe we just need to talk to a professional, like Mimic Academy's resident expert on dryer fires, Alex. So let's get started with a discussion on dryer fires. It's a hot topic. I'm here today with Alex at the Mimic Academy. Hi. Hi. Alex, I hear that you are the resident expert on dryer fires. It's a pretty hot topic, don't you think? <laughs> okay, let's get started. My first question to you would be, how many fires does one have to start in order to be considered a, a resident expert? I don't think that's exactly what they meant. No? I thought I saw it somewhere. Maybe I, I heard it or... Okay, no, doesn't matter. <laughs> so what exactly causes a dryer fire? Well, you can have lint build up in the dryer oh. uh, and the duct work. The okay. heat from the dryer will ignite the lint. Wait, ignite? Like fire? Like, wait, so... Dryer lint is flammable? I mean, it's like flammable, right? right just... Yeah, that's correct. The, okay, okay. Well, Mr. Expert, uh, what are some of the warning signs that I may have a, a lint problem? Uh, your clothes, like jeans or towels, taking longer to dry in the dryer. Could mm -hmm. be an indication of lint that's building up. Or your clothes coming out of the dryer hotter than they were before. Oh, wait, no, my clothes are pretty hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's not really what I meant. No? Well, Mr. Smarty Pants, you may know how to start a dryer fire, but I mean... No! No, anyway, yeah, sure. So. I was on the internet, right? And I looked up the top uses for dryer lint, and it's some pretty amazing stuff out there, okay? What do you think some of the uses are for that? It's a great question. Uh, uh, stuffing? Could you stuff something with it? Alex, you wouldn't like want to stuff your turkey with no, it. No, no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> oh, no? Okay, well, the number one use for dryer lint, what do you think? That's a great question. Starting fires! <laughs> Of course it is. <laughs> right? I mean, that's what you said. Go figure. Okay, okay. So, uh, what are some things that people can do to prevent dryer fires? Make sure you know where the lint trap is on your dryer. Clean it out after each load. Uh, clean around the lint trap. You can get a little tool to get in there and clean all the lint out. Uh, the most important part, never, ever, ever operate the dryer without the lint trap in place. So, um... How many times are you supposed to clean this thing? Every time you do a load of laundry. Every time? Every time. Is there anything else people, me, can do to prevent these fires? Well, of course there is. There's a vent on the back of your house. It has wire mesh on it. It catches the lint. Lint can build up there. Okay. You should check that often. Also, there's duct work that connects from the dryer out to the back of the house. Lint builds up there. You should have a professional clean that out once a year. There are ducks working in my dryer? Really? I don't even hear them. They don't quack or anything. I don't see any feathers. Wow. It's not exactly what I meant. I said ducks. Metal duck work? Not quack quack. No. <laughs> but seriously, dryer fires can be a big problem. But like most big problems, they can also be easily prevented with some simple maintenance and a little common sense. So let's recap. The early warning signs of lint buildup can be easy to miss. If your jeans and towels are coming out of the dryer damp, or your clothes are hotter than usual, you may have the makings of a lint problem. The best way to prevent lint buildup is by cleaning out your lint trap before or after each load of laundry. It's also a good idea to clean the area around your lint trap from time to time, just to make sure nothing is obstructing airflow. And while we're on the subject, never, ever run your dryer without a properly installed lint trap. That's a recipe for disaster. Last, don't forget about your dryer vent and ducts. Check the dryer vent on the outside of your house for lint buildup often, and remember to have your ducts cleaned by a professional once a year to stop lint from accumulating. Be sure that your dryer vent and ducts are made only of materials approved for venting hot dryer air. Keeping these simple tips in mind can help ensure that while you might lose a few socks to the dryer gremlin, you won't lose your home to a dryer fire. Interested in learning more? be sure to visit mimic.com forward slash safety.